Okay, before I start today's ESDE and Xbox emulation setup guide for Windows PC, if you like what you see today, hit notifications, subscribe and like. Helps my channel a great deal, plus it gets you up to date retro emulation setup guides like this one you're watching today. So if you've not checked out my ESDE playlist, check that out after you've watched this video. There's plenty of setup guides including a comprehensive set of guides to get you up and running with Emulation Station Desktop Edition. So we're looking at Xbox today and this is Zemu. So first of all I'm using a portable version of ESDE and I'm just going to remind you that's Emulation Station Desktop Edition. So we need some BIOS files for this. We got complex underscore 4627 dot bin. We got mcpx underscore 1.0 dot bin. And we've also got xbox underscore hdd dot qcow2. We've also got a couple of games for this setup guide. In my games folder, I've got Capcom versus SNK. And I've also got Colin McRae. Both of these are in ISO file extension. So these are pretty much disk copies images. So what we're going to do first is head over and go to the Zemu website. Now before we download this, I just need to make you fully aware that not everything is going to work correctly on Zemu. If we take a look at the legends just here, or the scale rather, we're going to see in that green color at the end, perfect, that actually only 4% of the Xbox library works perfect. However, playable is a massive 80% and those are pretty much good and pretty much those games within that category are pretty much fully playable. So there is a majority of games which are playable here. So the best way to do this is just take a look through the compatibility list and see what's what. If you go to intro, starts, broken or unknown, then forget it's not going to happen. So we also got documentation there if you need it. What I'm going to do is go to download and I'm going to download this for Windows. So we do need to set this up as ESDE doesn't have Zemu with it. So we need to install this outside of Emulation Station. So we're just going to open up Zemu. And here we go. That's all we've got inside. So we got two files. We've got license.txt and zemu.exe. What I'm going to do for now is create a folder on my desktop. So right click, new folder, and I'm just going to name this Zemu. And what I'm going to do is just drop both of these files inside of that folder. We can now delete that zip folder that we just downloaded. If we just go into Zemu, I'm going to open this up. And here we go. So the first thing you're likely going to see is some errors. So what we need to do is actually put into place these files, which are the BIOS files. So we've got that opened up and we've also now got a log. So we know Zemu's working, so I'm going to just drag this into my emulators folder in my portable version of ESDE. So in go Zemu, and whilst I'm here, I'm also going to drop all three of those BIOS files inside of there, so everything's together. Okay, so now what we need to do is open up Zemu. And if we OK this, and OK again, and OK, OK. Guess has not initialized the display yet, so don't worry about that. What we're going to do is go to machine, and we're just going to go down to settings. And from here, we're going to go down to system. And the first thing we're going to put into place is MCPX boot ROM. So what we're going to do is just locate that. And of course, I've just dragged that into my Zemu folder. So if we just click on this, and here it is, MCPX underscore 1.0 dot bin. If I double left click on this one, and it's going to say at the top application restart required, but that's okay for now. Next up, we're going to go down to flash ROM BIOS. And again, if I just open this, we're going to use the complex underscore 4627 dot bin. And finally, we got hard disk. So again, click on this and I'm going to use that Xbox underscore HDD. Next up, what we need to do is obviously restart the emulator. If I just close this down again and open it back up. And here we go. And we got a bit of text at the top saying, please insert an Xbox disc. 
So before we actually incorporate this into ESDE, let's actually first test this. If we go to machine, I'm going to go to load disk and then I'm going to go to desktop for now because that's where my Xbox games are. Here's my games folder and I'm going to just boot up Colin McRae. So what I need to do is double left click on this, machine, reset, Okay, as we can see, that's working fine. You also notice that I need to eject that. So it's loaded, just like a real Xbox. And then to stop the game and remove it, we're just going to go to eject disk. Otherwise, every time you open up the emulator, it's going to keep booting the same game. So everything's been set through there. And what we're going to do is just go to exit. Okay, so next thing we need to do now is actually put our games into place. So if we go to ROMs, and we just scroll right down to near the bottom, we're gonna find Xbox. If we open up the text document just here, it's also gonna tell us which type of files are accepted for emulation station. And here we go, so supported file extensions, .iso and .xbe. So we know what we're doing now, and I'm gonna just drag both of these Xbox games into that ROM's Xbox folder. And next thing we need to do then is actually open up the front end itself. So esde.exe. And here we go. Got Xbox. And here's our games. Alternative emulators. Just make sure this one is actually here. And this is set is Zemu. So if we come back out and then open up a game. there we go everything's working fine to exit that what i did was press my xbox button and i just went down to exit by pressing a button that's brought us back to esde so as you also noticed in there if you go to view you can actually change the aspect ratio from full screen mode 
into native mode which is actually four by three so that's it for today's esde and xbox emulator setup guide if you like what you see today hit notifications subscribe and like so you don't miss upcoming retro emulation content also check out my emulation station desktop edition playlist i've done around 12 to 13 videos at this point and also be sure to check out my other front end system setup guides you never know there might be another front end system that you're not aware of which might actually be better for you than ESDE. Anyways, join me on social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. But until next time, stay retro.